In this video, we'll be solving a system with infinitely many solutions. The example that we'll be working with is the system that contains the equation negative 9x plus 3y equals negative 24 and 3x minus y equals 8. Now let's use elimination. I'm going to go ahead and change uh, this coefficient to 9, positive 9, and then when we add these it should be eliminated. And to get that I would multiply uh, both sides of the equation by 3. So let me copy my first equation, negative 9x plus 3y equals negative 24, and then multiply through on this equation, 3 times 3x is 9x, 3 times negative y is negative 3y, and then 3 times 8 is 24. And when I add these together, negative 9x and positive 9x, those cancel off positive 3y and negative 3y, those cancel off. And remember, if everything cancels off, you need to write a 0. On the right side, I have negative 24 and positive 24. Those also cancel, so I have a 0 here. This is a true statement. Therefore, infinitely many solutions and when that happens, you have to decide if you need to go further and give an ordered pair. If you choose or if you're told to make the x arbitrary, then that means that we need to take one of our equations and write it in terms of only x's. Let's take this bottom one. We can take 3x minus y equals 8. Let's subtract 3x from both sides. And I have negative y equals a negative 3x plus 8. And then divide through by negative 1. So y is equal to 3x minus 8. So if x is arbitrary, then my point that I would indicate would be x and then in place of y, I'll write 3x minus 8. So let me box that in. Since I didn't tell you which to write, I'll show you both. And so that's if the x is arbitrary. Now if the y is arbitrary, let me go ahead and put that here. If the y is arbitrary, I need to write my x in terms of y. So um, I'm going to go ahead and take the 3x minus y equals 8, and this time I'm going to solve for x. So add y to both sides. So I have 3x is equal to 8 plus y and then divide by 3. So x is equal to 8 plus y divided by 3. So if my y is arbitrary, that means that I'm going to write my x coordinate in terms of y. So 8 plus y divided by 3. So it just depends on what you need for your solution or what you're told to write your solution as. 
that will determine which of these uh, will be your answer.